Hi guys. Okay, so tonight I was talking to my truth of friend Rick. Hey Rick. And uh, we were talking about the same old thing. Nobody wants to hear the truth. Everybody knows how that goes, right? And as as he and I were having this discussion, like we were typing back and forth, I had just watched a video by JB Gunner. I don't I don't, I don't even watch that channel hardly, but for some reason I subscribe to it. I don't know why. But he was talking about how we should just go blow up Iran. Kill them all. And, of course, I made the comment um, that, no, I don't, I don't think that we should. This isn't really Iran. This is Israel, and we're the world police for Israel, and... They're trying to take over Israel, so they want for us to do this. My whole spiel on what I believe to really be going on. Some guy comes underneath in comments, and he's like, uh, you know, I get so sick of you people saying all this without irrefutable evidence. Then, you know, what do you have? And I just, I was thinking like, well, I went back and I told him, I said, um, you know, my, let me back up, I gave him evidence, and I sent him a video, it was a really good video, I'll link that below, Oops. so anyway, and he came back and said, you guys always send these videos, and blah, 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 but what they're saying in the video is factual, and you can look it up, and you, I think that all of us that are here on YouTube in the quote-unquote truther community, I think that we know that by now. Because you start out, I guess, maybe believing some people, not believing others. But you, you, we, the people that are probably on my channel, we look for facts. And things, you know, if someone tells us something, we're not going to believe it until we see the evidence for ourselves. So, the video that I sent, it is factual evidence. But, of course the normies they're not willing to hear it right and I just thought it's so sad because they're not even willing to entertain the idea that they've been lied to their entire life and so I said to him I said you ask for evidence and we get and I gave you evidence why not consider that everything that you're saying is is evidence is coming from mainstream media or, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff that we get, I'm sorry, my phone is going off. A lot of the stuff that we get is from newspapers in other countries, right? Well, we don't know for a fact that that is true. Like, that's what they tell us. But we know who owns mainstream media all across the board, all over the world. So, <clears throat> last night, uh, <laughs> that's two truthers having a conversation on my Facebook so, um, last night, Iggy, hey Iggy, he, he said this, and he was talking about, he was talking about building a channel, but this goes for anything. You don't give up. Like, we do get tired of truthing. I see people saying that all the time, like, you know, I get so tired of this, no one listens, no one wants to hear it, no one pays attention, and it does seem that way, but our job is to present the evidence, right, and continue to present it, and present it present it over and over and over again we might not ever see the benefits that those potential people may reap like so it's a long shot right like we you don't know if you're helping anyone if you're affecting anyone in the long run but that's where faith steps in like you have to have faith that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and you're going to keep doing it and you're not going to stop no matter what because I think that is our purpose. I think that that's what we're here for. At least us, right? We're, you can call yourself a truther or not, whatever. That is what it is. Like, we're, we're trying to spread the truth. And I think most of us agree on most things. And I don't think that there's, we're, we're not always going to agree on every single thing. But at the end of the day, most all of us agree that the powers that be here on earth are evil powers. And, we don't like that. We're against that. And so any any truth that we put out is going to be against the evil in this world. And so 
don't stop. I heard somebody else say it too. It was L1978. Hey girl. Um, don't, you know, don't stop. Don't give up. You keep pushing forward no matter what because everybody does have a purpose. And for now, in, at this point in time, I think that's what we're supposed to do because there are really bad things coming. We know that there's bad things coming. I don't know if it'll ever happen all at once in a big boom. You know, I don't know. It, it may be the, the whole frog in the pot thing, you know, where it's a slow boil until one day we wake up and we are in some sort of re-education camp or some, maybe that'll never happen at all. I don't know, but we know that the powers that be, um, they're, they don't have our best, best interests at heart and we have to be against that so just keep truthing even if we don't get to see the results something's happening because I've been doing this for a long time now it seems like a very very long time almost a decade and look at what's going on around us there is so, I am not a Q person not at all I was on day two for about four or five six months maybe and I said, nope, done with that. You could, no, I'm not. I also supported Trump. Should have, I knew better. I did know better, but I still had hope. But there is a great awakening going on. I, I don't want to say that because Q has taken that, that phrase, but look around. People are waking up, and it's because of people like you. Bye. Keep truthing.